All right, everybody, welcome back to Beans No Ball. Big breaking news coming out just about 10 minutes as of recording this. Tua Tagovailoa and the Dolphins agreed to a four-year, $212 million extension. I believe it was like 167 guaranteed in there. I mean, let's go at the contract. Christian, you want to get into it? Yeah, this is another. We, we were expecting Tua as one of the, the big-name quarterbacks to hopefully receive a contract for this upcoming season. And he was obviously the one uh, next in line now. So the total thing for his contract, man, uh, four years, 212 points, something million. I think 100 is, yeah. Yeah, 167 million, I believe that is guaranteed. So he is getting paid 53.1 million a year, which does make him the third highest paid quarterback um, of all time. Yeah, right? Just 0.1 uh, million ahead of Goff on annual yeah, value. Yeah, I mean, I so, guess, you know, that's the thing. They probably didn't want to make him the highest pay, but I guess, you know, he he did settle for, for you know, just just to step over, make himself yeah. the, the third highest pay, which, you know, good for him. I mean, the, the, I mean, let's just get into the conversation that we were just about to, yeah. we were just getting into right before we recorded. I mean, you know, you see the top three, the top three guys. Tre- I mean, Trevor, Joe, Joe Burrow. I mean, you look at you look at the difference. I mean, yeah, like we we, we had our own thing about uh, Trevor Lawrence about yeah, he had the twenty seven nothing, but you know, apart from that, he hasn't done anything. Tua doesn't even have a playoff win. I mean, Joe Burrow is the only one that's actually. I mean, he has that deep playoff run, and you know, all you can really say about him is injuries. You know, he's definitely living up to the contract for what it's worth. Yeah, I mean, Tua the playoff shirt. I mean, he's only played in one playoff game so far. So I, I would kind of give him that here, but you know, with the talent that the Dolphins have now, with the receivers, the whole defense, the new guys they've added, now keeping their quarterback for another four years, that team's literally built all around. You would hopefully expect them to take the division. I know you were having that a little debacle right there and there. You would expect them to take the division and hopefully make a, um, a really huge run these past couple years now with tools under contract. And obviously same goes with every other quarterback on the team that gets a contract like this. They don't get anything done. It's gonna go down as a horrible contract. Obviously, it's something like that. But obviously, now with Tua, with the money he's getting and the resume he has, he's just another one of these high-paid quarterbacks that they've got a contract this season for a lot to prove. Yeah, I mean, if you want to just look into that, you know, going even lower from him, I think what the only other guy that's gotten to Super Bowls is you know Goff and Hurts, and you know they obviously themselves have a lot to prove going into this. You know. Yeah. Herbert, that's probably, you know, the big the big name that, you know, he has the most to prove out of out of the guys, you know, the top, top, what do we call it, like six, seven um, on annual value. And I mean, for Tua specifically, and I think the one thing I don't, but there's no one else that you can really say, you know, you know, who else could they have gotten or who else is, you know, in line that the Dolphins could go for. But, you know, is he really going to be the quarterback that they want to put the trust in? Because, you know, they have the receiver core. You know, you could argue they have one of the best running back cores in, in the league with HN and, and Raheem Mostert and uh, the rookie that they picked up. I forget who, but, you know, they, they definitely they, they got a decent rookie in the draft, too. So, um, look, they have a core and sure, maybe that defense took a hit. So uh, say which one on the other side of the ball. But is Tua going to live up to, you know, that offense that they have? And, you know, sure, we've seen it. You know, he's gotten to the playoffs. He's, he's been, you know, he's been able to lead the Dolphins to the playoffs, but you say you know he's only had one real playoff game but let's remember why he had to go to arrowhead because he choked down down the stretch in the regular season you know that down by the time it comes into it's a december january you know once it gets to the cold weather that that's exactly what what the the big concern is with Tua. you know cold weather Tua and the cold weather dolphins in general but i mean and let's not forget if, how he is in big games as well with teams of a 500 you know last season too. i mean then he was the, one the of the two quarterbacks with the cowboys yeah, he was one of the, the one of the two teams with the uh, other with the Cowboys as well. Two and the Dolphins. We see how they played against teams against 500. They didn't get their first win until December, which was against the Cowboys. And even after that win, they were still pretty much shit in the bucket with teams like that. We saw when they choked against not really choked, but we see the performance they did against the Bills to literally clinch. The division we saw what Tua was doing i, I mean sure the and i think line... that game specifically would have given us a lot i mean maybe yeah. not to you know the end all be all but for him to take the division away from the bills for once i think maybe yeah. i would have been a little more comfortable with this contract but to see that and to see the cold weather kill him in arrowhead i think yeah. i mean it's hard for me but then you also look at the fact that you know i mean this is kind of just the going rate for a starting quarterback at this point yeah i mean look well yeah i know i've already talked about it a lot with Dak's contract coming up, see what that is. And then, hey, look, 
uh, the same, the, the agent for two was the same agent for Jordan Love, so you would expect Jordan to get another and, uh, know, big now, contract now for him. That's Jordan Love. Good. We did hear, I forget if it was Ian or Shefty, we did hear that we're expecting uh, Joel, yeah. uh, Jordan Love to, yeah. to sign a, a possibly the, the biggest deal. contract in NFL history. So, yeah. I mean, uh, We'll see. I mean, he's definitely, I mean, you could definitely say he's been living up to, you know, probably being worth that deal. And I mean, it's, it's like I'm saying, you know, with, with, with Tua, I'm not fully convinced as much as I love the guy. Yeah. Well, like we said, it's going to be, once again, he is another one of these quarterbacks. He's going to have a lot to prove this upcoming season. And, and that's pretty, but that's it's a lot to say, especially with the contract uh, regarding for everything, especially with the resume with everything's done. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, like like I was telling you a little earlier, you know, the East is looking a little weak with how the Bills are looking. You know, this is the year to do it. I mean, if he's going to live up to it, it has to be this year. But, you know, that's basically going to do it. I think I think that wraps it up. You know, we'll, we'll see if we have to get into some Jordan Love news uh, by the end of the week. But apart from that, that, that will be it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys back for the tail end of the offseason.